Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a snowman. This is a, a version of a grinning snowman. He's on the website if you'd like to order him. And he's a lot of fun to do and a little bit more in uh, as far as detail on this guy. Hey, let's get our glove on and let's get our tools and let's go. And we're going to start out here with our the largest V-tool that you can uh, handle to start separating uh, the hat. And again, I always start there pretty much every time in getting this guy established and using the biggest tool and I'm working my way around the, the brim of the hat and also uh, this is going to be a part of the oh, the scarf and and the back of the hat area here and all I'm doing is just outlining my pencil marks and moving right around Create the scarf line here, foundation for it. This is a kind of a taller version of, this, of a snowman than I normally do. Pretty short and, and stobby, but this in here, he's kind of tall and sort of slender. And we're going to take our V-tool, run it right, right up along the side of the scarf. I like to lay my V-tool on its side and uh, see how it, it creates that nice, smooth, clean line in there for you. And also it makes the scarf stand out away from the body. That saves some time there by doing that. Now I'm going to go right up through and create the knot for the scarf someone had put on him. I'm going to come down here now to the bottom of the scarf. Create that area there. I'm going to come in here and do the, the crooks of the arm. Laying our V-tool on its side. And getting that all away from from the body there. You can see there. Now we're going to come in here do the same thing. Make sure that we get our position pretty close to match the other side. Now let's do the back. Now we're going to put a scarf hanging off the back here also. And let's get the arms established. Now he's not going to have any mittens. Now you could put mittens. There's enough wood there. But you could put some mittens there if you wanted to. And uh, again, change it up. You can change a rough out to a, change a rough out up some. And uh, so don't be, don't have to do it just exactly like the picture shows you that you get with a rough out. You can change it up and do your own. Again, this is going to be the bottom of the back side of the scarf. And now he's wearing a coat, and so we're going to, um, my pencil line's a little off, so I'm going to go right up through that part, and come right up to the bottom of the scarf. This is probably an old coat that someone had in their closet they don't wear anymore. So let's put him on the snowman out here. Again, we are just... Coming in with our V-tool, pl planting our th thumb there to give us control and taking it off a little bit as we go and using my left hand to turn my wood for me. All right, now we're going to come up here and visit the nose and this hat area right under here. Taking off a lot here around the top of the brim of the hat because that way I'm downsizing the nose. There's a lot of meat up here, a lot of wood that you can take out, and we want to be able to get that nosed nose starting it laying out in its right direction. And 
too. We're going to come around the base of the hat where the hat stove part where the hat comes and meets the flappy part of the hat. So far, this wood's cutting pretty good. All right, now we're going to take our knife and we're going to go over pretty much everything that we just did with the V tool. We're putting our stop cuts in. Let's come around the scarf here. Again, always watch. Now remember, right, stop right there. Don't go across here because you'll cut your scarf in half. So always watch where you're heading, what you're doing. Okay. Let's come in here now and let's start establishing the nose for this guy. Now we don't want to go too far into the nose here. Um, now this is not going to be a very pointed nose because I'm going to say if you were going to do a snowman you really want a pointed nose. I would carve one out and then glue it to his face uh, like we did on, this, on the snowman spoon a while back. And, um, so we're just kind of squaring things off here. All right, now we're going to start working around him, removing the waist, start shaping this guy for him to set on your shelf or give it as a gift. Put this head, part of that underneath the scarf, put it behind the scarf a little bit just to show there that the scarf is standing out. And then um, I want to take my V tool here and I want to run along underneath the brim of the hat here. Now I'm cleaning up, I'm using this side of my V tool to clean underneath the brim of the hat. So use that parting tool also as a tool that will clean underneath the hat here. And Or you can use a flat gouge to get underneath here, but I kind of like using my V tool. It saves me from having to pick up another tool to clean this area up. And so when you paint, all this will be nice and smooth underneath here and no cut marks or jagged marks or anything. So that will just take a little practice getting used to doing that with that tool. All right, now let's come underneath here and start shoving all this underneath this top scarf right here. Let's bring the, the back of the arm out a little bit. You don't have to relieve a whole lot right there because it's laying up against the body there pretty much. Take our knife, come down through here, and remove that piece right through there to get this scarf standing out on the back side. And using that tip, make sure you know where that tip is going, like so. All right, let's bring this arm out a little bit like we did the other side. All you're doing is creating shadows in here because when you paint this guy, you'll notice here, see how 
nice and dark it is underneath there. Well, of course, too, we use black plum to shade with when we paint uh, this, any, any, really any character that we do, whether it's hillbillies or snowmen or sanders or whatever, and it creates depth there. But also uh, creating depth is, is keeping your cuts good and smooth in here. And um, make sure that your knife is really sharp, though, and that way you don't have you have less fuzzies to deal with in here. All right. Tucking that arm, that coat, underneath the scarf there a little bit. Okay. Let's stop and look at him here in the camera. He's kind of a long guy, but um, this is where we're at so far, where we're leaving all of these things here to get him to get everything to stand out on the on the body. I'll go to a little longer bladed knife where I can really reach out there and remove more real estate with longer strokes. Now it's beginning to tear there, so we go back this way. Remember, it is an old raggy coat, so everything is not going to be like a brand new coat out of the store. It's probably someone's, maybe it's grandpa's coat or somebody's, who knows. To dress him up a little bit. Working on the scarf a little bit. I like working all over the carving. I don't like to work in one area very long. And I know that bugs some people, but I'm just not cut out that way. I just need to work all over. I think it gives it better uniformity when you do that. And stop and look and see where you need to go from there. And deepen areas if you need to deepen them. All right, let's remove some real estate here. And a lot of this is just grunt work. Now remember that whenever you're doing clothing, that make sure that you get your, your dividing lines correct, whether you're gonna put buttons on and things like that, because female shirts and male shirts are different. They put the buttons and the button holes differently. So study that, make sure you know which way to put your, your cuts for that there to distinguish between a male clothing and female clothing on it. So it's important. Now, if you want the collars of this guy, he is on the go-by sheet, the collars for this, this uh, snowman. And so, but again, you can come up with your own collar scheme. You don't have to go by what I did mine by. But uh, anyway, well, it's on the go-by sheet if you need guidance in that area. And this is the grinning snowman. Now we want to show a, a little depth in here. And where the coat covers the bottom part of the of the body, and show a little bit of action there.
using a pulling cut, pulling toward me. I get a little longer blade on that if I can. That way I can get more done that way. Annoying sound there when the wood hits the table like that. Sorry about that. And Now, if you want to deepen this, you can take your V-tool and come along the side and lay your V-tool on its side and just clean up underneath the, the edge of his coat. <sighs> come along right into there. To show more separation by using just your V-tool. V-tool is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Wonderful tool to have in your, in your tote bag or your carving bag or on your bench. Let's come in here now and start removing the sharp edges off his coat. And let's put in the area for the hand or the mitten. This will be for the, the cuff of the coat. And you could put a little divot right there to show where a button will go there later on, like we did here. Well, I didn't do on this one here, but anyway, you can. Whatever you want on there. It's your carving. Blew everything off except what I wanted to blow off. There we go. Gonna get my blower pointed in the right direction. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now let's come over here to this side, kind of match up your your cuts that you're going to be making for your hands in the pocket. It's the cuff on the coat. Let's clean that up a little bit right there. Let's come in like so. Okay, now let's work on, we're going to let the rest of the body go for right now. And we'll come back and clean up these areas where the wood is splintered or whatever. Now let's work on this knot here to create the, the knot here where you would tie it and knot on, on the uh, scarf itself there, you'll see. Now to create, when you've got a square like this, all I do is take the corners off. Come in here, just remove the four corners to create a rounded effect or knot, like so. Okay, you can kind of see that there, we kind of got some roundness going there. Then I take my knife and I just remove all that surface right there on top of the knot now. And I just start shaping it into the size of knot that I want. Always make your knots big, just like your nose is big and your mouth big because, big, because you can always reduce it down. And so always start out big. Remember, character is ex it needs exaggeration. We're exaggerating things. You ever heard of a person say, well, he's quite a character? Well, that means he exaggerates things. And uh, he's kind of ornery. Tucking it in there. Get a clean cut there. Come in here and need to come down just a little ways here on the scarf. And cleaning that up there. Because if you don't get these areas cleaned up, your paint will tell on you. It's 
the tattletale. It will tell on you. It's like, ooh, I shouldn't have, I should have cleaned that up better. All right. Okay, now let's work on the scarf, getting it kind of shaped and to the body, to the coat itself. Bringing these edges down to where it's actually touching the coat. We haven't forgotten about the back part of the scarf. And so we want to always remember to get this part done. A lot of people are not going to be looking back here, but I think it's neat to put a scarf. It's especially a long one. It just adds more to him. Even get in here and do the edges of this hat. See, I mean, I just go all, all over. And I'll see something, I'll stop, address it, and try to move on. Putting the wrinkles in. Taking our V-tool here, kind of cleaning up around the base of the head and the neck, the scarf area. Create the nose more here. So we're gonna take our knife and come in Remove a lot of this waste that's right in here. Let me stop and show you here on the camera what we're doing. Try and get this nose a little bit more narrower, but not to the point to where it'll break off. All right, let's put in the division here that the scarf has to show the little fretwork, or not the fretwork, but the, where the scarf breaks up here at the edges, the, the frills of the scarf, I guess you want to call it. And a little too blocky in here, so we want to come in here and kind of clean that up a little bit. Okay, now let's work on the hat here. We're bringing down the hat and making our cut right there. And let's take our, our largest V-tool that we have and um, come in here and dress this down. And uh, I'll use this guy right here for right now since he's handy. Working on the brim of the hat. Using the back side of it, of the gouge here. Cleaning up the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and do our, some grunt work right here. On top of the hat. Taking our knife, going around the hat here. Now I'm coming down here to the floppy part of the hat, cleaning all this up. Again, this is gonna be an old tattered hat, I'm sure.
take my V tool here, clean up some of this area right in here. Get rid of our V tool mark from earlier. Okay, now let's come in here and thin this hat out. Now, I tried to do the hat at the very last because I don't want to break off the brim here. And this can happen if we're not careful. <sighs> like so. I'm taking my V-tool, cleaning this area up a little bit. Get rid of any nicks and things like that there. All right, and then a few things we want to do here. You can um, put in the little tassels here and break it up at the edges. Go every which way. even do some more right in here break up at it you know everything's not going to be fancy dancy on him it's just a worn out scarf and then we can put in the little band around his hat now you don't have to but again this adds more detail uh, to your carving and you know if you want to you can always bring this down to just make that band stand out a little further if you'd like. All right, now let's go back here. We're getting down to the finishing part of this guy. And we're going to take our V tool on the back side here and put the scarf, the frills in here, the fraying of the scarf. Kind of come in and, and put in some little wrinkles and things in the scarf. Now, don't put a whole lot, you know, just kind of come in through here and break it up a little bit. Now, to do, it looks like a knot in the, uh, where you've tied it, this is how I do it. It's, it's kind of like an X. All right. Taking a V-tool, whatever size of V-tool that you'd like, that you think it will fit in your size of knot right there. And use it. Don't go any deeper than what the tool's made for, though. Okay. And there you have a knot. Okay. Now, let's continue in here with some um, really, like, really up close where, the, where the, the fabric of the of the scarf is pulled together. You're going to see some creases in there. So put some creases in there. And that way, it gives it more realism. Come in here and put a few little here and there, you know. You can even paint, you know, something on there. You can put maybe a person's name there if you wanted to, uh, if it's, you know, within reason. Um, you know, whatever you'd like. So just to show you, you know, you can come in. You can either V-tool his mouth in or you can paint it however you'd like. But uh, make him a happy guy, whatever you do, all right? And uh, we'll have to come in here and tweak this a little bit more. But that gives you an idea of what you can do um, here on this guy. And he's called the Grinning Snowman. He is on the website. You can look at him, see if you'd like to try that out for a project. And so with that, folks, we thank you for joining us today. I wish you happy carving. Please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. We'll talk to you real soon.